Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am plant shopping for common house plants. Now, some of these I have had before and some of them I have not. I recently did like a part one to this video where I showed my house plant collection of my existing common house plants, but I have a lot of common house plants on my wish list. Now, common plants are amazing. They're beautiful. A lot of them are easy care. And please note that some of these may be common to my area and not common to your area, depending on where you live in the world. So I would absolutely love to hear comments on maybe some of your favorite common house plants and which ones you would have chosen today if you would have been plant shopping with me um, and for those of you that don't know me welcome you have found your crazy plant tribe yes we are all house plant lovers here um, if you want to join our community please subscribe that's the best way to not miss a video and I'm also on Instagram so give me a follow on there if you like giveaways and that kind of thing I also post regularly on there so I'm going to be shopping at big box shops today I find that in the Charlotte area we have amazing amazing selection and inventory at our big box shops like Lowe's and Home Depot and there are just a ton of them around this area. I'm in the Ballantyne area right now, but there are Lowe's and Home Depot absolutely everywhere and uh, they are packed and their prices are awesome. Their plants are seem to be really, really healthy. So that's what I'm going to do today is go shopping at these big box shops. And I'm so, so excited to get started and see what common houseplants I can add to my collection today. All right, so let's go do some shopping. Not much going on at this particular Lowe's today, but I'm going to have a quick look around to see what I can find before I go to my next spot. We have some really beautiful golden pothos and some Tradescantia, and then we also have a strawberry begonia. Now I've thought about getting the strawberry begonia before. Do any of you guys have, have one? Like, what do you think of these? Um, they're here and these, these size are about $10. There's also a beautiful philodendron Brazil, which I, which I would absolutely get if I didn't already have one. This one's super nice and it is 15. Some really cute little succulents. This one is so, so fuzzy. We got some air plants. Look at these cute little bonsai. Oh, so adorable. Got some more succulents. Over here, just mostly golden pothos which I already have one of these. Ooh, look at these beautiful African violets. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit tempting. <laughs> I already have three of them, but uh, I love them so much. Over here are some more golden pothos. Some really cute Diffenbachia over here. Dragon tree. Got some ivy down there. Dracaena, waffle plant. Lots of cute little ponytail palms for 15. Some little, um, oh my gosh, bird of paradise with a little blank there for 26. Really nice eucocaine. Look how cute these wire plant stands are. They're two, two for 50. That's not a bad deal. Ooh, you can put a plant in or on top. That's kind of tempting, I like it. And they're big. They look nice. They have a lot of plants here for 50% off. They have cute little creeping fig. Variegated teardrop peperomia. Nice trending tropical begonia here. Nothing wrong at all with getting plants on clearance. You just wanna make sure there aren't any pests, um, or, you know, or, or anything like that. And just to make sure that the plant is, you know, pretty healthy. All right, so now I'm here at my next location, which is Home Depot and uh, they have lots of great stuff for me to see what I can find here. First thing I see here are Syngonium, like a really, really nice size for $10.98. Everything on this table is $10.98. They have this um, golden philodendron. What's it called? Golden goddess or something? Doesn't say. I always forget the name of that one. Some cute Sansevieria. They have these adorable little Madagascar palm. Oh my goodness, so cute. Some really pretty ferns. Nice. Some Aglaonema over there. 
Look at these beautiful peace lilies. Oh my gosh, and they are, they're only $20. Oh, that's tempting. A lot of you guys commented that peace lilies are, are some of your favorites. Then we have the Cordy line. Absolutely beautiful. Up here we have lots of Hartley philodendron. They are $15. If I find a really healthy one, this is on my list as one of the things I wanted to bring home. Down here we have more Dracaena. Lots to choose from. Have all sorts of palm tree here. And then there are these really nice sized money trees. I already have a big money tree actually. Um, but I hope one day I can find a variegated version of these because I've been seeing people finding variegated ones and they're so, so beautiful. Here we have some really pretty orchids. Different colors, they are $20. Little polka dot plants, so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, these fiddles are only $69. <gasps> and I've been thinking about getting one. Oh, I know, they're tricky. But that is definitely something I'm going to consider for this trip. And also, look at these absolutely massive, massive, massive scents of area here. They are $39.99 and they have to be at least four foot tall, amazing. Up here we have some more pothos and a marble queen pothos is on my list as uh, one of my wish list plants I want to get these are 15 and look at this look at this nice size one isn't that pretty I don't know that's a maybe guys every time I come here I eye this ponytail palm I just think he's so cool um, is a hundred they're really easy to care for as well and it's such a statement piece like I think that would look really cool in my living room I'm trying to decide between something like that or maybe the fiddle I don't know I feel like it needs to be taller but I could always put it on a stand but it's already like five foot no maybe four and a half feet I don't know decisions decisions here we have lots of beautiful bromeliads. Just such a wide assortment here. It's pretty amazing. I'm always so enamored with the color of these. I just think they're so, so beautiful. Also, look at these Monstera Deliciosa they have here. I mean, healthy, healthy, healthy plants. $20, and it comes with a pot. The pot is plastic, but it still looks really, really nice. These are great. Look at these babies. Here we have a, a large assortment of um, polka dot, polka dot plants. I love the color of them. There's some ripple peperomias here. These cute little green bean, <laughs> or string bean, uh, peperomias, I believe they are. Here we have some more pothos and Hartley philodendron, some Brazils. I think if I'm gonna go with, with one of these philodendrons, I'd like to go with a large size one. Oh, another gorgeous, massive ponytail palm. Lots and lots of Sansevieria. These are $17. If you're wanting to get one of these types of Sansevieria, I'd say like Home Depot, Lowe's, that's a great spot to get them because they're really, really well priced and so healthy and they have really large sizes. And it just, Sansevieria are some of the easiest, easiest plants to take care of, truly. We have some cute little China doll plants for $8.98. Everything on this table is $8.98. I like how they're labeled as the type of light that they enjoy. We have some crotons, some dracaena, looks like some really pretty palm back there. Lots underneath as well. 
Here we have some really cute flowering house plants, um, not to be underrated because who doesn't love looking at some beautiful flowers? These are primrose, these right here. And then these back here are cyclamens or cyclamens. Um, they really enjoy having moisture in the soil at all times. So, so beautiful, especially these white ones, oh my gosh. Up here we have some maranta and some more philodendron, pothos, ivy. Just, you know, they're packed full here, which is so, so nice to see. Um, to have some selection to choose from. They have a really nice assortment of cacti as well. Look at them. Wow, I wonder what kind that is. Isn't that different looking? That one's really neat as well. <laughs> Huge, what looks like a golden barrel. Tons of succulents. Looks like they have some pretty big plant sales going on. Um, they've all been marked down. This entire area here is uh, they're all $3.33 and I'll be listing all the locations in my description below for you guys. Here we have some um, string of bananas. Then up here we have a bunch of Brazil. We have a waffle plant. Now there are some spider plants, curly spider plants. That's a maybe as well. So, so cute. And we have some Fetonia, which also I'd like to add to my collection. Mine died in the, in the move and it's such a great plant. <laughs> hey guys. So when I'm out here trying to look for plants, I there are a few things I always keep an eye out for. I'm always um, really investigative when I'm picking out a new plant and trying to figure out which one I want. Um, I was really looking through this one. I like to see new growth. I like to you know, make sure there's uh, not a lot of brown spots or dying leaves, which would be indicative of some sort of disease or something. And then I do check for pests. And I did notice on this one, some white fuzzies, which to me indicates mealybugs. And I'll show you what they look like on here. This plant is quite full, so it's hard to show, but do you see that little white fuzzy bump there? Those are dispersed kind of all throughout this plant, which is a pretty good sign of mealybugs or some type of pest. So I'm going to set this one aside um, and go wash my hands before I go handle any of the other plants, especially the ones I want to so buy. That was incredible at Home Depot. I am now at Lowe's. Um, I have a big haul, but uh, yeah, we're gonna stop. This is my last spot, I think. Okay, looks like they have some nice stuff here. I'm excited to see what they have and if there's anything else I wanna add. This one I've actually never heard of. It's called Emiliana, and its leaves are very, very delicate. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it's absolutely beautiful for 16. Got some pothos, some anthurium. Got the trending tropicals here, the begonias. Have my eye on that. If I didn't already have a philodendron birkin, I would definitely be getting one. Um, they're just, to me, they're like just sweet little good babies. I just love them. As is Raven's Easy. They can put up with just about anything. And then here we have some baby fiddles. Good Lord, look at the size of these leaves. Absolutely massive. Very, very healthy. Some bird of paradise down here for 15. That's not bad at all. Some beautiful, beautiful cordyline. That's a maybe. I just love the pink. You know, I'd love to have one of those one day. Some Diffenbachia, also super beautiful. Ponytail palm. Really cute philodendron here. Some Sansevieria, money tree, some uh, nice sized palm over there. We have some really pretty um, umbrella, some Schifflera. Some more ponytail palm. One of those massive fiddles, oh my gosh. Like, just massive leaf size, I guess. That's what I mean. Have some really nice pothos up there. 
I mean, some of them have really, really massive leaves. Got some ZZs. Just a nice assortment of common house plants. Got some Diffenbachia down there. And these are all $7.98. Really nice, nice price. Some bird's nest fern. Some more of those huge, huge pothos. Beautiful. Actually came to one more Lowe's. Ooh, I'm so glad I did. Looks like they have lots of great stuff. They have these beautiful Diffenbachia here for 15, and then they also have this peacock plant for 15. I think these are absolutely beautiful, and I own one, um, and it does really well for me. We have some um, Diffenbachias and some Cordylines. Lots of really great, big, beautiful plants here, and these are all 15 some little ponytail palms and some money trees over there. Here we have some more really pretty fiddles. And this bird of paradise is nice looking. They have some of those really pretty pothos. Down here we have some syngonium, some waffle plant. Diffenbachia, Crotons, some ivy. Oh, lots of raisin, <laughs> raisin, lots of raven, zizis, birkins, begonias. I spotted a small escargot begonia. It's for $3.98. I found a huge one at Pike's, one of my favorite plants now. Look, they have these. They have these at Lowe's now. They're part of this new collection. Ooh, that's really cute. I don't know, he's struggling a little bit, but I love, love, love the pots. Ooh, that one's really nice as well. Ooh. All right, guys, I'm so, so excited to share my haul. I got, you know, for me, quite a few things. And I'm the first thing to show you, obviously, is this absolutely beautiful, massive fiddle leaf fig. I'll show you what it looks like once I get it like all set up in my house. Um, I think I have like a huge wicker basket, and if I don't, I'm gonna go thrifting to get another one. I'm so addicted to thrifting now. I've been wanting one of these since I started collecting, um, like seriously collecting. So it's been almost two years that I've been wanting one of these, and I'm so glad I finally got one. Now I know they are very much divas, and they can be very finicky. So send me your care tips. Let me know what things you have learned so that I can learn from you guys and make sure to do everything I can to keep this baby healthy and happy. I've been so nervous to get one, so nervous to get one, but I have a freaking YouTube channel about houseplants. Like I'm getting a fiddle leaf fig. Almost didn't get it, but I just knew I'd be thinking about it, thinking about it and they go fast. Like somebody in the store took one because $70, like that, don't get me wrong, that's expensive. Like that's expensive for a plant very expensive. Um, but for fiddle leaf figs, for this size, this healthy, 
normally they're at least $100, um, at least. So the next plant that I got is this beautiful Marble Queen Pothos. Isn't she beautiful? I've been wanting to get one of these forever. Um, this one is super duper healthy. As I mentioned, like some of the other ones in there had mealybugs, um, or at least the start start of some mealybugs. And normally I don't see pests on the plants at, at, at Lowe's and Home Depot. I think it was a one-off. Nine times out of 10, the ones around here, like they're are super, super healthy. So, yeah, look how beautiful this one is. It has a little baby spider in there too. He can hang out and um, and get rid of any pests that he might find. But I just love Marble Queen Pothos. You know, from what I can tell, they're extremely, extremely easy to care for. They have that beautiful marbled, you know, marbled variegation, clearly where it gets its name from. This one's so lush and full. Do you know that it was on sale? It's listed for $15 and I got it for $12. 1288 or something like that so yeah if you may want to go check out Lowe's and Home Depot because um they're having all sorts of sales I got this one I got these two from I'm trying to remember pretty I think it was the Home Depot um again I'll be listing all the descriptions below but I'm so excited about this one I've been wanting one of these girls forever now she doesn't have a ton of trails yet but I imagine like it won't be very long um before she gets a bunch of trailing I wanted to get a super super healthy plant um instead of one that had tons of trails and maybe wasn't quite as healthy but this one's lush full bursting with life and growth and I loved the way the variegation looked on it so I do have one more plant to show you guys that I'm also incredibly excited about that I got from the last location ah, look how cute this is so this whole thing it came with the plant and the pot for $20 $20 for both. I mean, just this planter itself, it would be $20. Um, anyways, I got a philodendron cordatum or heteraceum, Hartley philodendron, and I've been wanting one of these babies forever. I cannot, I'm just so glad I finally got one. Look how beautiful the leaves are. Um, and I love how, as you can see there, like the new growth that comes out has that like really pretty, almost pink or orange color to it and uh yeah these guys i'm pretty sure they grow nice and quickly so i'm excited about this one so it was between this one and another one and i really liked this pot and this plant seemed the healthiest it's not the biggest but it was the healthiest i'll go for healthy any day of the week over big so yeah I'm so happy with my plants. And you know, these are common pl house plants for around here. Um, incredibly popular plants for good reason. And uh, I've, these are just a couple of the ones on my wish list plants. Even though the, the big box shops were really stocked full, I felt like it was a lot of the same kind of house plants. So I picked out the ones that have been on my wish list for a while. I'm keeping an eye out for more common house plants that I have on my list um, because I have quite a few common ones on my wish list. I'm really excited about my haul. Please let me know any care tips please, please, please let me know care tips, especially for this one, this big uh, fiddle. And also let me know which ones you would have picked out today if you would have been shopping with me. I always really appreciate your comments and please subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss videos, which I do post once or twice a week, usually twice a week. Look me up on Instagram and say hi. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I will definitely be seeing you soon. Bye.